Do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. It's too, it's too easy. Hey guys, it's me, Trevis, with betkarma.com. We're refreshing our betting 101 video series. Uh, if you remember two or three years ago, we did these videos. Uh, with older technology and none of the tools we have today on betkarma.com. So I decided to kind of refresh, go over these very important uh, betting 101 uh, beginner questions uh, using our tools as well to kind of show you uh, the answers instead of just explaining them to you. So let's start things off with what is a money line bet. If you think any of these videos whatsoever, whether it's the betting 101 or any of the other helpful betting or DFS videos that we drop on this channel help you out, please do us a solid. Click that subscribe button and of course like this video as well. And then comment any other additional questions or thoughts or anything whatsoever uh, in the comment section below. And if you have like any particular topics we haven't covered yet that you want more insight on, drop that as well and we'll, we'll make a video for it. So what is a money line bet? When you are betting on a money line, you're betting on a team to win. There are a lot of complicated things when it comes to betting. Money line is the most simplistic form of betting. It doesn't matter if a team wins by one point, by a million points, by whatever, if it's not even a point, if it's a sport that is not even point related, uh, a goal perhaps, a money line bet is for a team to win the game. If the team wins, you win. If the team loses, you lose. It doesn't matter anything else. That is it. So we're going to go ahead and use some of our uh, exciting tools we have added uh, in the last year or so to betkarma.com, which of course, m I would say about 90% of these tools you can use for free. You just create an account at betkarma.com. Uh, and then, like I said, about 90% of these tools you use for free. The only ones you uh, that are part of the premium are the predictive tools, the tools that actually uh, predict outcomes in terms of uh, you know player prop outcomes and things like that. So if you actually want things to predict, if you want part of the algorithm, the secret sauce that's in BetKarma.com, you have to go to uh, click that Try for Free orange button up top and then sign up for BetKarma Premium. But all the ones we're showing you here are part of the... Uh, the free. So this right here is the odds comparison. So all these sports books you see here with, you know, FanDuel, DraftKings, points, but these are all the partners we have. We have a lot of partners. Um, a lot of uh, sports books are excited about betkarma.com. So we partner with all of these books here. And every piece of data you see under these sports books, uh, these little logos, these banners here, these are the actual odds for this very second on those sports books. So right now we have MLB highlighted because we're, you know, knee deep into the uh, MLB season. And we have money line toggled over here to the left. So if you untoggle this and toggle spread, you'll see the spread bets, which is a different video. If you untoggle that and toggle total, different video we're going to be putting out as well. Right now we're talking about money line, so let's talk about this. So let's just uh, pick a, a game at random. So the first game tonight is the San Diego Padres and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's look at FanDuel Sportsbook. It says the money line bet for San Diego Padres is minus 184. The Pittsburgh Pirates money line bet is 154. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, first off, you want to pay attention to the, the symbols that are next to the numbers. If you say minus symbol, just like here, like it looks like it says negative 184, that means that team is favored. If you see a plus symbol or no symbol at all, so plus and nothing is the same thing. You can see a plus 154 here or just 154. They both mean positive 154, which means that team is the underdog. So that's the first thing we look for. Is it possible to have two money lines where both teams have a minus symbol? Yes. If it's a very close neck and neck matchup, you will see a team that maybe has like minus 115 and the other team has minus 105. So the, the, the highest number with the minus is the most favored. So minus 115 is the highest number in terms of like 115 is higher than 105. Uh, and then minus 105 is the team that is less favored, but it's so close that they both have those negative outcomes. So your next question is, well, what do those numbers mean besides telling me who's the favorite, who's the underdog? Well, let's go ahead and pull up. Um, well, what I want to do here is I want to pull up our bet calculator tool. So this is something that is extremely helpful if you're very new to betting. You just click here, right here, where it says bet calculator in the main menu. This is also something you can find on mobile as well. Works exactly the same. And uh, let's say you're looking to bet, I don't know, let's just say 50 bucks. And the money line is, what was the Fandle one? Minus 184. So you're going to type minus 184 here, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. If you bet $50 on a minus 184 spread, or minus 184 money line, sorry, uh, your profit, if that team wins, if the minus 184 team wins, so if you bet on FanDuel Sportsbook, minus 184 money line, and who is it, the San Diego Padres, if they win their game, you have profited $27 off your $50 bet. So you're going to get $77 back. Well, what is that $77? It's your original bet, which you said was going to be $50, bucks, 
plus your profit based on the money line, based on the odds, which is $27. So you give the sportsbook 50, you win, you get 77 back. And only 27 of that is profit. So let's look at the other one. We have uh, Pittsburgh Pirates was 154 on FanDuel Sportsbook. So 154. So when you do these, you don't have to type in the symbol. You just don't type in, as long as it's an underdog, just type in the number. It doesn't need to be plus. So now we look at it. If you bet on the Pittsburgh Pirates with the plus or positive 154 money line, same thing, $50. This time, you're going to get $77 in profit, not in total payout, but in profit for your total payout of $127. So the worse or the greater, I guess you can say, of an underdog, the better your payout because you you have more risk because they're not favored to win. If you're betting on a team that's not favored to win and they do, you get a better reward. If you're betting on a team that is favored to win, if you're betting on a team that is favored to win, you're getting less of a reward because uh, they're they're favored to win. So the the sports books know they're supposed to win, so they're going to give you less money because you're not really having that much risk because they're supposed to win statistically by Vegas odds and, and by a bunch of other um, uh, a bunch of other data points. So if you have a minus number. The greater that number is, so if it's minus 180, you're gonna you're not gonna get a, as great of a, a payout because they're a favorite. But if it's minus 260 or minus 300, the higher that number goes up the minus column, the less your payout's gonna be. If you bet on somebody that's like minus 500, that's pretty much a lock to win, which we don't like saying the word lock because in the in the sports world, there's never a true lock. And also on top of that, never ever bet on a team money line that is. I believe my ultimate cap under no circumstances should you ever bet above minus 300. So minus 300 and higher. So minus 300, minus 400, minus 500, because the juice is not worth the squeeze. And what that means is that even if you bet on them, which I'll show you here. So let's say you bet uh, on, we'll just do like minus 400. So let's say you bet 50 bucks on a minus 400 money line. If they win, which they're supposed to, because minus 400 is a definite heavy favorite. You only get 12 bucks. $12.50 is all you get for betting on such a massive favorite. And what if in happenstance, which happens all the time in the sports world, especially the betting sports world, what if they lose? You lose $50. So is it worth it to risk $50 just to gain $12? No, it's not, which is why a lot of a majority of people who are intelligent bettors do not do that. But if, like I said, just using that minus 184, yeah, you're ma you're making a profit roughly of you know fifty percent of your entire wager for a payout of seventy seven dollars here. So stay away from money lines that are minus three hundred or worse. And uh, of course, you can do something crazy where if you want to bet on a extreme underdog, let's say like um, I'm gonna put the the symbol there, but um, let's say they're like uh, I'm trying to think here six fifty. So a plus six fifty underdog. So plus six fifty. You bet 50 bucks, you will profit $325 if that team wins because it's such, based on Vegas odds, based on all the data analytics, it's such a uh, an unlikely scenario that you're pretty much, the, the sports books are like, well, this person's lighting money on fire. This team's not going to win. So if, you know, if happenstance and they do win, we're going to reward them so much greater because they took such an insane risk. So that's how money lines work. That's how odds work and everything. Uh, some other tools here I want you guys to focus on. This is our live odds. Uh, so the odds comparison tool, which we first started with, this shows you all of the odds for all of our uh, US uh, sportsbook partners we have up here. But if you don't wanna compare, which first off you have to compare, and I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in a second. But if you just wanna look at just just uh, what the what the the number opened at, what the, what the live number is, and what open means is when the sports books first come out with the odds, that's what the open is. So when this game first came out with the with the money line, it was minus 160. And after betting action happened, after everything happened, at this very second, it's minus 180. Well, what does that mean, betting action? Well, if the teams, if the sports books say, okay, we, based on all of our, uh, all of our algorithms, we're saying that the San Diego Padres should be a minus 160 money line. And then all of the smart bettors around the world are saying, minus 160 is actually a little bit cheaper than I thought they would be. I'm going to start betting on minus 160. So everybody and their mom is betting money on minus 160. Well, what, what do the sports books do when everyone's betting one direction? They, they alter the odds to make it less of a payout, and they increase the odds of the other item to make it more of a payout. So if you bet on minus 160, 
let's just say you're making X amount of dollars, but if you're for a profit, if they win, if you bet on the new line after the sports books updated and changed it, which they do all the time, every second of the day, these numbers are moving based on action and also based on news. Like if somebody gets hurt or injured or somebody that wasn't supposed to be playing an all-star that is playing, all that kind of stuff can alter the lines, but definitely action moves the lines. They decrease the amount that you can win for the side that's getting more heavily bet and they increase the amount you can win if you bet the other side. So they're pretty much giving you like an extra carrot, you know, like luring you with the carrot to say, hey, come over here, come over here, come over here, bet on this side just to mitigate their risk. Because if everybody for a sports book bet on, bets on one side and that side wins, which of course happens all the time, but sports books take such a huge loss that that's why they have to always increase the other side to kind of lure you over there. Like you may not want to bet on the Pirates at 140, but do you want to bet on them now at 155? And some people might be like, yeah, like I like that a little bit better than 140. I almost did 140, but I didn't. 155 is better. Let me bet on that. So this live odds is something you can find for MLB, NBA, and NFL. Uh, we're, we're adding more sports uh, as we continue to add more tools at extremely rapid rate. Uh, there's something else here called live trends. So if you see these open and live numbers and you're still relatively new to sports betting, which is probably while you're watching this video, uh, part of the series of betting 101 to help you guys out. This is huge. This definitely helps you out because we color code it to let you know good and bad. So let's look at the middle column here, the money line. Okay, so we said it opened at minus 160, minus 180. That's a change of minus 20 here. So instead of you looking through and trying to see like, uh, looking through this one and seeing, okay, which, which moved in which direction, uh, which moved in a positive way or negative way, just click over to the live trends right up here and just color code everything and just look at the difference. Okay, this one has a minus 20 move. This one is plus 15. And we just keep scrolling down here and you wanna see the biggest line movement. So we've uh, this more solid green color. You see this uh, green background here. That's the biggest change um, to the favorite side. And then this darkest uh, red or dark salmon, if you will. Uh, this color here is the biggest change towards the, um, the underdog side. So this one here definitely has changed a ton. I think this is actually the highest change. Uh, no, this one is down here, the Giants. So the Giants open at one, minus 190. I don't know if you can see that. Let me scroll up here. They open at minus 190. So much action has been placed in the Giants that the sportsbooks had to move the money line minus 45 to now a minus 235 money line. And they're luring you to bet on the other side, Washington's money line, by adding 30, um, I guess you can say 30 points to the money line here. So use these color-coded tools, live trends. We have the live odds here that we showed you earlier with the odds comparison tool. Now, this is essential to you making the most money possible when betting on sports. If you only bet on one sports book and you have all of these opportunities, depending on where you live in the United States, if you have, if you have multiple opportunities, multiple sports books, you need to have an account on all of them. And that's not just us saying like, oh, you know, bet on our partners, bet on this side, bet on this side. Everybody who is a who wins in the long run, so all the professional bettors out there, they all bet on multiple books. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain how exactly people use this tool. So we're gonna just stick with the San Diego Padres, Pittsburgh Pirates that we've been talking about all video long. So let's say you've done your research, you're confident, you want to bet on the San Diego Padres. So you come over here to the odds comparison. You want to bet the San Diego Padres money line. Okay, so what we do here is we go to this odds comparison. And the first thing we do is we look, you see how a lot of these are highlighted in orange. So what we do is we highlight the best possible payout for what you were going to bet anyway. So if you've already decided the San Diego Padres money line is what you want to bet on, we highlight where you can tell instantly with your eyeballs, uh, even if you're colorblind, you can tell the different shading um, for uh, for what is the best payout. So we see here that if you bet on DraftKings Sportsbook, the money line is only minus 180. If you bet on Caesar Sportsbook, the money line is only minus 180. And so they're tied for the best outcome. So you can bet on either one of those. If you bet on FanDuel at minus 184, you make less money if they win. If you bet on points bet, at BetMGM, Bet Rivers, Twin Spire, Sugar House, Unibet, any of our other partners, you make less money if San Diego Padres win. And what we're trying to do, our entire purpose of Bet Karma existing, is to make you the most money possible, the most have you make you help you make the most educated bets possible, and when you do, help you make the most money possible when you do it. So 
in what the professional bettors do, the people who know what they're doing, they always use these tools, these odds comparison tools. Okay, I'm going to bet on the San Diego Padres. Let me look at betkarma.com's odds comparison. Okay, I'm going to place this bet on DraftKings Sportsbook. Well, let's say, for example, they wanted to bet on the Pittsburgh Pirates money line. Okay, well, where's the best payout? There's actually a lot of them that are tied here. We have 160 for Caesars, Bet Rivers, Twin Spires, Sugar House, and Unibet. So you can bet on any of those, and they'll be the exact same payout because they all have the exact same money line. So one, if, if the numbers are the same, one site doesn't pay you more than the other site. If It's only when the numbers are different. So it's not like you get a better deal at another site. I mean, of course, they could probably have some promo. If you bet on them, you get some free bets or something, but that's besides the point. If the numbers are the same, your payout is the same. So that is how you use an odds comparison tool. And we go a step further where if you want to bet on DraftKings Sportsbook, you see how it changed to bet this. We actually have it synced directly to Jeff Green Sportsbook because they're one of our partners. All these guys are our partners. So if you say, okay, let me go to this, San Diego Padres, minus 180, boom, I'm going to do DraftKings Sportsbook. You click on this, it will take you directly to DraftKings Sportsbook. Um, and then, of course, if you're on your mobile device, it'll take you to the app as well. So that, in a nutshell, is everything you need to know about money lines. You're betting on a team to win. I showed you uh, what to look for in, in terms of determining who's the favorite, who's the underdog. We talked about... Um, what the using a bet calculator how exactly uh how much you get paid uh, another easy thing to remember uh something that a lot of people use uh when they don't want to pull up a bet calculator for the underdog so this is another thing for uh, for odds in general but we'll just talk about it for money line so let's just talk about the san diego, san diego padres pittsburgh pirates fandle sportsbook which is what we started with the underdog money line if you bet a hundred dollars on that money line, that is how much money you make in profit. So you see here it says 154. If we bet $100 on a plus 154 or just a 154 because they mean the same thing if you remember, if we bet $100 on that, we make $154 profit. So that's an easy way to be able to calculate um, uh, you know, a, a profit, if you will, on a money line. $100 on that money line on an underdog money line is the actual profit number if we did it on caesar sportsbook this 160 here bet 100 dollars on that we make 160 dollars in profit now what kind of quick math can we do for these for the the favorites the favorite is in order to profit 100 dollars, so it's kind of flipped around in order to profit 100 dollars, you would have to bet the amount of that number so if the San Diego Padres are minus 184 on FanDuel, we have to bet $184 to win $100 in profit. So once again, the underdog, you bet $100 on the money line. That money line number, which is 154 on FanDuel, is your profit. For the favorite, minus 184, you have to bet $184 because that is what the uh, the favorite money line is to profit 100. So if it's like, minus 1000 you have to bet $1000 just to win 100 which is why we stay away like i said earlier from the crazy high money lines so any questions we're more than happy to help make sure you do subscribe to this channel because there's tons of videos probably already like this um i'm i'm working on a lot of new uh betting 101 videos using our new tools we've added to the site since our last round of videos went out but i hope this guys help, helps you jump in our free betting chat room by going to betkarmachat.com. It's free. It's literally free. You just go into your browser on your mobile device or your desktop. You type in betkarmachat.com. No spaces. It'll pull up an invite to our chat room. You get in there, uh, sync your chat room account to your betkarma.com account, and boom, you get all of our sports betting channels for free. So you can just talk about uh, who's betting what for the day. If you have questions, everyone there is helpful. We have thousands and thousands of other sports bettors in there. It's a fun place to be. Hope this helped you guys. Enjoy sports betting, and uh, good luck, guys.